If you're looking to supercharge your productivity, then Notion AI is the tool you need. Notion is not just another note-taking app. It's a complete productivity suite that combines project management, knowledge databases, and real-time collaboration. It's a one-stop solution for managing both personal and professional tasks. With the integration of AI features, Notion has taken a giant leap forward in offering smart assistance to help you draft documents, organize your thoughts, and even generate new ideas. This video will guide you through the basics of Notion and its advanced AI functionalities and ensure you can leverage every tool to make your workflow smoother and more efficient. Let's kick things off by creating a free account. If you haven't already created an account, the process is straightforward. Visit the Notion website and click on the Get Started for Free button. You'll be prompted to sign up using your email address, or you can opt to sign up with your Google account for convenience. After entering your details, you'll receive a verification email. Simply follow the instructions in the email, and you're all set to start using Notion. Once logged in, you'll be greeted by a clean, minimalistic interface. Notion offers a free version with substantial features, making it accessible for beginners. As you explore further, you can decide whether to upgrade to a paid plan, which offers additional storage and advanced collaboration features. However, for most personal users, the free version provides more than enough functionality. Now that you're logged in, let's take a closer look at Notion's interface. The interface is designed to be intuitive, with a focus on ease of use while offering powerful tools right at your fingertips. When you first open Notion, you'll see a sidebar on the left and a blank space on the right, which serves as your workspace. The sidebar is your command center. It houses all your pages, databases, and workspace settings. The first section in the sidebar is the Quick Find feature, where you can search for any content across your workspace. The Quick Find feature in Notion is typically accessed by using the keyboard shortcuts Command plus P on Mac or Control plus P on Windows. Alternatively, you can also access Quick Find by clicking on the search icon in the top left corner of your Notion interface next to your workspace name. Below that, you'll find All Updates, a section that keeps you informed about changes made to shared documents by your collaborators. As you scroll down, you'll see a list of pages, including a Getting Started Guide. Click on this guide to access a helpful introduction that Notion provides for new users. This guide covers basic tasks such as creating pages, adding blocks, and organizing your workspace. It's an excellent resource if you need a quick refresher or want to explore the basics at your own pace. The middle section of your screen is where the magic happens. This area is your canvas, where you can build and organize your content. On the top of this section, you'll find a toolbar with essential options like Add Page, Templates, Import, and Share. Each of these buttons plays a significant role in how you interact with Notion. In the top right corner, you'll notice three dots. Clicking on these reveals options to customize your page further, including the ability to change fonts, text size, and page width, as well as add comments or duplicate the page. These customization options allow you to tailor your workspace to fit your personal style and needs. Now, let's talk about two fundamental concepts in Notion, blocks and pages. A page in Notion is essentially a blank slate where you can add various types of content from text and images to databases and embeds. You can create as many pages as you like, and each page can contain other pages, allowing you to build a hierarchical structure that suits your workflow. To create a new page, navigate to the sidebar and click on the plus new page button. Give your page a title, and you're ready to start adding content. But how do you add content? That's where blocks come into play. Everything in Notion is a block. Whether you're typing text, adding an image, or creating a table, you're working with blocks. To add a block, simply type a forward slash in the empty space on your page. This will bring up a menu with a list of block types you can insert. For example, if you type slash image, you can upload an image or embed one from a URL. If you type slash table, you can insert a table to organize data. The slash command is incredibly powerful because it allows you to quickly and easily insert any type of content without needing to click through multiple menus. It's a small feature that makes a big impact on your productivity. 
Now, let's focus on the page settings that you can access through the three dots in the top right corner of your page. Here, you can change the appearance of your page, toggle between full width and narrow layouts, and even add a cover image or icon to personalize your page. These settings give you complete control over how your information is presented, which makes your workspace both functional and visually appealing. Notion comes with several pre-built templates to help you get started. On the left sidebar, you'll find options like reading list, monthly budget, journal, job application tracker, habit tracker, project planner, to-do list, and personal website. These are just the tip of the iceberg. Notion's true power lies in its flexibility. You can customize these templates or create entirely new pages tailored to your specific needs. For instance, the reading list template helps you keep track of books you want to read, are currently reading, or have finished. The monthly budget template is perfect for managing your finances, while the journal template provides a space for daily reflections. The job application tracker is invaluable if you're in the midst of a job search, as it helps you keep tabs on applications, interviews, and follow-ups. The habit tracker is a great tool for personal development because it allows you to monitor and encourage positive habits. The project planner template is ideal for managing complex projects by breaking them down into manageable tasks. The to-do list template helps you stay on top of your daily tasks, and the personal website template is a quick way to create a simple online presence. Remember, these are just starting points. The real power of Notion lies in your ability to create custom pages and databases that perfectly fit your workflow. Don't be afraid to experiment and create pages that cater to your specific needs. Now, let's talk about one of Notion's most exciting features, Notion AI. This powerful tool brings artificial intelligence to your workspace, which helps you write, brainstorm, and analyze information more efficiently. Notion AI can help you summarize long texts, generate ideas, explain complex concepts, and even write code. To use Notion AI, simply type forward slash AI in any block, followed by your prompt, or simply click on the AI icon or type a command, and Notion AI will respond with suggestions, summaries, or generated content. Notion AI is particularly useful for overcoming writer's block, generating outlines for articles or reports, and even translating text into different languages. One of the standout features of Notion AI is its ability to adapt to different writing styles. Whether you need a formal business proposal or a casual blog post, Notion AI can adjust its output accordingly. It's like having a personal writing assistant at your fingertips, ready to help you craft the perfect piece of content. To fully leverage Notion, it's important to understand how to use its databases, templates, and calendars. These features are the backbone of Notion's flexibility, which allows you to organize information in a way that suits your workflow. Databases in Notion are incredibly versatile. They can be used to create tables, lists, galleries, or boards, each of which can be customized with various properties. For example, you might create a database to track projects with columns for due dates, status, and assigned team members. The power of Notion's databases lies in their ability to adapt to different views and filters, so you can always display the information that's most relevant to you. To create a database, simply type slash database and choose the format that best suits your needs, including table, board, calendar, list, or gallery. You can then add properties such as text, numbers, dates, and checkboxes, giving you complete control over how your data is organized. Templates in Notion are another key feature that can save you a lot of time. Notion offers a wide variety of pre-built templates that you can use to get started quickly. To use a template, click on the Templates button in the toolbar, browse through the categories, and select the one that fits your needs. You can customize these templates to better align with your specific goals. Calendars in Notion are perfect for visualizing your schedule and deadlines. Whether you're managing a content calendar, tracking project milestones, or simply organizing your personal events, the calendar view makes it easy to see everything at a glance. You can create a calendar from scratch by typing slash calendar, or use a template to get started. Each calendar entry can be linked to a page or database, which allows you to add detailed notes, files, and checklists to your events. These tools are what make Notion so powerful and adaptable. By learning to use them effectively, you can create a workspace that's not only organized but also deeply customized to how you work.
As we wrap up this video, it's worth reflecting on the power and versatility of Notion. We've covered a lot of ground, from basic page creation to advanced features like databases and AI. But remember, this is just the beginning. Notion's true power lies in its adaptability. It can be whatever you need it to be. So go ahead, dive in, and start building your perfect workspace in Notion. Remember, the only limit is your imagination. Thanks for watching our video. Like, share, and subscribe to get more videos like this.